horsepower ratings decreased in 1972 was due mainly to change in the measuring criteria. Precisely, horsepower ratings were measured as the gross output of the engine alone. Starting in 1972, ratings were a more realistic, real-world net, which included losses from air cleaners, exhaust systems, and accessories. This beautiful war bonnet yellow, 1972, one of 2,550 made, is an absolutely gorgeous coupe. A great driver quality car, automatic. The paint on the car I would call very good. Our emblem is showing a little age, but it's all there in a good shape. Chrome is very good. Our vacuum system on the car works very well. Our caps and bands are in nice shape. Very good radial tires. Everybody always calls and asks, what's the bird cage? Everybody hears the bird cage. These pillars are your bird cage. This is where you want to look inside for any kind of rusting or anything like that, as our crew does. Uh, this one is free of any, and our dash is in excellent shape, as well as our bright work around the windshield, which is free of any major rock chips or scratches. This has the brown leather interior, which is showing a little bit of age. I dare say probably original to the car as well as the carpeting. Tilt and telescoping wheel, automatic transmission. I also want to point out a neat feature for the for these cars as well. So it is a coupe, but you'll notice these latches right up on top here. These actually unbuckle and this window can fold to a, uh, a tray up under the, the back deck here. So it gives you a real full air, open air feel to the car. Gauges are all nice and clear. Our back deck and our rear chrome is in good shape. Power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, and an automatic 1972. Sounds like a fun way to hit the road. Give me a holler, 770-605-2056, or email john at buyavet.net if I can assist with this or any of the hundreds of Corvettes we carry in stock. As always, we'll see you on the road.